time and welcome back to my channel guys this is jb 23 vlog for today's video i would like to share how to adjust the exhaust gas deviation of our auxiliary engine as requested from one of our subscriber guys so the situation of this engine guys is that one unit has a higher deviation compared to the other cylinders so as you can see this is the exhaust gas deviation values now we will carry out adjustment at which the engine is running off load or at idle mode as you can see the unit number one has the lowest exhaust gas temperature amongst six cylinders so the first step guys is to record all the fuel rack volume of injection and compare the readings in all cylinders the admissible adjustment of fuel racks is no more than one scale graduation as you can see guys the number one unit has the lowest exhaust temperature so in this case we have to increase the temperature from the unit number one so as you can see i am now recording the fuel rocks reading the scale reading in every fuel rocks in all fuel pumps so the other way of balancing the exhaust gas deviation guys is we have to run the engine at high load so that we can make the fine adjustment of all exhaust gas deviations by the fuel pump rocks adjustment provided that we are at still on the limit which is not more than one scale graduation in all fuel rocks of all fuel pumps so this is the steps guys as you can see as i have recorded all the readings of all fuel pump rocks so i get the reading of unit number one it has a four millimeter while all others has 4.5 so in this situation guys my action is to increase the unit number one to increase the volume of injection from 4 to 4.5 and we will see how much temperature it will increase as you can see I am loosening the fuel rock lock bolt this is the allen range bolt guys so I'm using the special tool just to loose the fuel rock now I'm adjusting the fuel rock from 4 scale graduation to 4.5 that is very fine adjustment guys you have to be very careful when adjustment of this rock position and then you have to monitor the exhaust gas temperature as it has some result after adjustment this type of engine is when you need to increase the volume of injection then you have to pull the rocks backwards and when you need to decrease the volume of injection you need to push the rocks forward or going to the pump side so as you can see the unit number one division is now decreasing and the temperature is increasing as you can see guys unit number one is 167 degrees so right now i'm loosening the bolt again i'd like to adjust up to 140 degrees so a little bit decrease again just to reduce the temperature so after every adjustment guys we have to wait for a few minutes to stabilize the temperature 
of the exhaust gas as you can see guys the unit number one is now 175 so I'd like to reduce to 140 to 150 degrees as almost the same with the unit number two right now this engine is running offloaded so these are the things that we need to take note guys when balancing the exhaust gas deviations in all cylinders that it is very important adjustment of fuel racks should be no more than one scale graduations as you can see guys the unit number one as i adjusted it is now 156 degrees so after adjustment guys we have to ensure that the lock bolt should be fully tightened so that's it guys until here guys i hope you learned something about this kind of video guys and if you are interested in this kind of topic all about marine engineering videos please hit me the like share and subscribe button guys for more upcoming videos and see you in my next video guys thank you for watching this is jb23 vlog stay safe everyone bye bye